girlfriends, this is David Somebody. Let's dish. This week, are classified ads a good way to meet potential lovers? God, I sounded just like Oprah. Grand old Oprah. A bigger talent all the time. Classified ads. Friend or fiend? Hmm. Anyways, last weekend, my lover John Campbell, not his real name, and I bumped into our old friend Ted at the club with a new bow. I guess Ted placed a personal ad and this gorgeous young stud responded, you know the type, immaculately tapered hair, white blonde, blue eyed, skimpy little tank top and pecs of death. Talk about happy endings. Sheila Woods have a hunk. John Campbell, not his real name, suggested we place a classified ad for a gin rummy partner. No, this is not a metaphor. The only thing he takes more seriously than sex is cards. When I'm winning, he gets brisk and snotty and insists that I've memorized the cards. Honestly! So we placed an ad. The response was overwhelming. We got 17 replies. Ten of them thought we had a gentler game in mind than Jin Rummy. One of them even sent a Polaroid, which John Campbell, not his real name, insists is somehow faked. Never mind that. Two replies were very sweet. My favorite was this fellow whose name I won't reveal, but he wrote that he was new to town and didn't know very many men. I thought, honey, many men are not worth knowing. Believe me, I've been there. I know most of them. I guess what most intrigued me was the way he signed his letter. Come play with my deck, Gord Kish. Oh, damn! I wasn't going to tell you his name. The day the journal started the category for gays only was the day they secured my eternal respect even after Mark Horton did such a scathing attack on Madonna's movie. I took up my pen against Mark and wrote him a poisonous letter because Madonna, Liz Taylor, and Shirley MacLaine are the gay man's holy trinity. <laughs> that being said, am I going to write back to Gord? Well, I don't kiss and tell. At least not in that order.